Next we check out the Sword Singer's Redoubt House. Some claim the truest treasure is this former Sword Singer stronghold glitters below ground in the form of cool, clear water. After the retreat of the Sword Singers, enterprising merchants set up markets here for wealthy clients. Perhaps you will too. And okay, this place is huge, huh? And look at that. That's a really, really big place. Ah, it looks quite nice. On the first view. So I guess that's the market area, area which we heard about in the introduction tag. Here. Up. Can. Round. Overview. There? Is that water? Nee. Cave? Or something. One step in a time. So you can also go at the bottom left. There's some kind of entrance in the mountain. You need to the left side. And here you can also walk around. God, we can go further. I missed it. There's a door. Nee, this was the, end, was the entrance, yeah? Okay, that was, sorry, it was the entrance. <laughs> okay, I did not miss that. From there we came. We walked over there. Oh, it's getting confused here. We can walk here. Here's another platform. Yay. Ah, here's more. A uh, big building. Hmm. If we go back, so I'm not getting lost. Okay. Uh, look there. Oh, here. We started already from over there. Here's some kind of entrance. Check it out. Oh. Oh, that's really deep. It's like a mine. Look at that. That's a mine. I thought it would be a small storage room or something like that. That's huge. Look. Ah. If they're like a mine, then it is mine. See? Yeah. Here's a room, regular room. We go to the rest of the house. Alternately, you could drop to the hole. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah. Here we go. Also, the mine. Ah, so, oh, can we go there? Can we go here inside? Nee, nee, it's not. I was not wondering because I have the UI turned off and I don't know. But here we have another room. And here we have a cave? <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's the hole what we saw. Okay, so this is the hole what we saw from top. Here. We can drop down into the wall. 
Then we can go in the rest of the cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That the thing is huge. Okay, so here's water. Okay, we can drop from here. We can swim here. The size of this house is ridiculous. Not even 1,400 slots would be enough. Not by far. Okay. And you can say it's a dungeon. Okay. And look at it. It's really ridiculous. It's so big. Yeah, I guess if you want to do anything in this place, you have to probably close off some parts. Because it's just... really 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 huge and we did not even go uh, on the top part everywhere i mean we did now go left right and then i went uh, the here inside <laughs> without knowing that this will be a huge cave system here we came or oh. Yeah, so there we drop down, then I still swim. There. And it's super cool, so don't get me wrong, it's a really cool idea and really unique. But, yeah, with the furnishing limit, what we have, I always find smaller houses would be better. Okay, now we are back. Okay, but we're here. It's a different, different exit. Here we can we have the marketplace. So this was the hole which you just saw. See, then we can also jump inside. See now what we can do over there, on the other side. Can we go through the door? Not sure if that's possible. Leave. Okay, so this would be exit. Okay. That was the, the another way to the mine. Here. That's the spot which we saw here from the top of the little mountain. Oha! Okay, so let's check out the furnishing limit, etc. How that looks like. Oh. Also, with ESO Plus active, you have in the Sword Singers Redoubt 700 furnishing slots. Otherwise, it will be half if you don't have ESO Plus active. You have 10 special furnishings, 110 collectible furnishings, 10 special collectibles. And population of 24, like a big house. So what do I think about the house? My personal opinion. Um, it's cool. Also, it's really unique. Would I get it? No. <laughs> no. Um, it's just so big that I would not know how to fill it up proper with the furnish limit what we have. I mean, it's so much space. Um, and even if you only use the top part, it will be difficult. I mean, look at all this area here. It's huge. Even just the, the market zone is already really, really big. Um, it's cool. Yeah. But, and I like also the, the setting a lot. You know, the reliefs and the walls and everything. It's really, really pretty. But this one is not easy with the size and everything. This one is really not easy to fill up. It work. Even so, I'm sure Ophi housing guys will will make your wonderful things without problems. Pretty sure. Now, I also think the house will probably be expensive. I don't think this one will be cheap. Mm. It's so big. But it's nice. Just, I don't see myself buying this one. Um, if it's super expensive, you know. But if it would be, I don't know, 
4,000 crowns. I would maybe say, yeah, maybe. But even so, then I would probably say nee because I don't see myself making here anything. Um, but yeah. But what do you think, guys? Would it be something you purchase? Or did you like the other house more? Or both? Or you don't know? I don't know. It's big and unique, but difficult. <laughs> not not a nice, uh, so not a not an easy house to to furnish. So 